Rangers prepared to splash the cash on Sam Lammers. And you know what? I don't know what's more absurd. The fact Rangers are about to spend four million, near enough four million on this guy. Or the fact they're about to spend it on a guy that has about six goals in his last three years. Yes, guys, you've heard that correct. Since 2020, since this decade begun, this striker that Rangers are looking to sign has only scored six goals. That is not good enough, and I don't care what way you spin it. Beal, you know, has brought in the likes of Cantwell Raskin. Looks like everyone else he's brought in looks good. Everyone else you're linked to, but come on. A striker that's got six goals since the start of the decade? It's unforgivable. I mean, the same Rangers fans, including myself, have been burying Ryan Kent for his goal contributions, but at least he's a winger and adds more to the game. But for a striker, you need goals, right? It is a lot like there's players out there the Rangers have been linked with, like Lyndon Dykes. It's not all about goals with Dykes, but Jesus Christ, at least his return is something relevant to a striker that a striker should be doing. With this guy, I mean, these numbers are diabolical. Now, someone did point out to me in my comment section that he was on the bench um, for the Europa League final against Rangers. He did spend last, uh, well, 2021-22 season on loan at Frankfurt this season. He did get relegated. Uh, he did spend time, I think it was Sam Doria and Mboli, uh, that he spent time with. But the goals, man, it's just, it's just not good enough from a Rangers perspective. And I, I don't see how this is even goes through. And I know it's it's in there. It's in the pipeline, so to speak. But Rangers losing Morelos, Ken, I mean, goals for Arfield as well. I mean, it looks like Beal has literally come out and said that Cholak is not fancied. And you can kind of tell by the way his persistence to keep on playing Alfredo Morelos. That would seem to confirm that. It really would. So, I mean, you're losing a lot of goals for this Rangers team and potentially even more with the likes of the Seal of uh, Cholak so what's that all about I don't know what is all about if I'm being honest because it just seems like a really weird appointment now is he bringing this Sam Lammers guy in does this guy offer you something different in certain games like in Europe will this guy be able to play away and be able to flick the ball down to like wingers etc etc maybe that's what Beal's going for maybe but I, I, I'm not too uh, certain on it if I'm being honest. Also though, Rangers edging closer to a 2.5 million deal for Nottingham Forest defender Jonathan Panzo. Now Rangers have been looking for a left sided centre back for a while and it looks like Beal could have his man because the deal edges closer like I said he had a good season uh, last season at Coventry City playing 29 games grabbing one goal but then again he's a centre back and he probably still has more goals then Sam Lammer, guys. But that's what I'm going to leave you is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, Manchester City, of course, if you didn't check out the match review last night, they did win the uh, the Champions League, which uh, don't many of us want it. Don't many of us want it, if I'm being honest. Be a bit disappointed about the whole scenario, but I guess it is what it is. And I guess we've got to move on because we are... Uh, I say we are, to kind of sum up the rest of the UK, the Art Man City fans. Let's be real, right? It's it's a tainted title, the trophy, treble, whatever you want to call it, man. They've got 115 charges against them in terms of like financial fair play and all that, right? They've bought it. Did you see the celebrations the when they won the Champions League? It lasted for about five seconds and then it just died down in the stadium. And the same for all the fan zones. It's fucking embarrassing, man. It really, it really, really is. It's sad. It, it is sad, the state of football. It's the reality. Like, you know, I don't want to just keep on using Rangers, but you look at Rangers, right? When they um won, well, when they like, yeah, when they beat Leipzig, the, the celebrations at full time literally lasted for like 20 minutes. Probably more. You know, but like City, they actually win the Champions League, and and they, like the fans, their fans don't care. Honestly, the fans like just sit there and be like, "Oh well, that's it." And uh, you know, and it's a joke. You just see now, no matter where you are, more Man City shots popping up left, right, and center. Glory hunting bastards, and I, and I fucking hate them. But you know what? They'll never have the true passion 
of uh, Scottish football. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, they're fake bastards. And I don't like Man City troops, right? He's probably caught that on for you now.